So today I'm going to be reviewing the entire 100% pure uh, multivitamin and antidox antioxidant range. Um, so there's four products. There is four products. I'm going to be talking about all of them. So I have been using this range um, for some of them quite a while. Other things are quite new. I'm going to start with the serum because that's what I've been using the longest. So the multivitamin PM serum. I've been using this for probably like two years. I've gone through about four bottles. I really need to renew my next one. Um, but I wanted to try out the oil first. So as you can imagine, four bottles, I really like this product. It has a beautiful kind of texture. It has a lovely sweet orange fragrance as well um, that I just really, really adore. But over and above that, I've actually noticed changes in my skin. Now what happens or tends to happen when I start a new product, I don't really notice any changes or I can't really tell whether it's attributed to the product. In terms of this product, I definitely know that it has brightened up my skin. I know that because when I started using it, I, I noticed it straight away, um, you know, probably within a couple of weeks. Now I was using the PM treatment at the same time. However, when I ran out of my first bottle, there was a two month period where I continued to use this treatment, but couldn't get the, the serum yet. It wasn't in stock. And I did notice, I didn't actually notice any changes during that period. But when I started using the product again, I noticed that brightness come back. And I even had uh, someone comment on how bright my skin is when I started to reuse this product. So for me, I love this product. I will probably use it until they discontinue it. The only issue I've got um, with it is that when you get down to about a quarter like here, it's very hard to get the product out of the bottle uh, and then you have to unscrew it. It's a bit messy and annoying. I can live with it, but it is annoying. Also, like the amount that comes out of one pump is probably too much for your face. So I am a bit careful about that as well. Before I move on to the treatment, I'm going to just briefly talk about the oil. So I've yet to work out whether this is meant to be in combination or replace the serum, but I have a feeling it's instead of the serum. So I've only been using this product for maybe two to three weeks. Um, and I thought I'd just give it a go, mainly because the serum doesn't have as long uh, once you open it. So I don't know if you've ever looked at these little things at the back, if I can get it to show you. Um, but it basically tells you once you've opened the product and started to use it, how long until it goes off. The serum's only three months, but it lasts me about five. Uh, so I wanted to try the oil because the oil six months to see if um, it does the same thing. I think it's maybe a bit too early to tell. It's hard to tell whether it is giving me that brightening, although I think my skin looks pretty bright. So I'm going to say, yes, it does the same as the serum. The problem I've got with it is I'm not a huge fan of oils. It is, it's a bit too much for my skin. Skin, I think I don't really like it being that heavy at night um, so for me I probably won't buy it again it's got quite a nice fragrance as well I wouldn't say I think it's got a bit of that sweet orange in it but it's not as strong as the serum what I do think if you have very dry skin if you particularly like an oil you'll probably like this product potentially better than the serum also, this is going to last so long. Like I thought, oh, I'll just try this and then I'll go back to the serum. And now I'm getting annoyed because I feel like this is going to last a million years. Literally, you need two to three drops. So I know some oils, it's kind of hard to move around. I feel like this is quite a slippery one. So you can move it around your face and you really only need a few drops. Uh, so I think it's probably more financially better than the serum, but I'm still going to go back to the serum. So the next thing I want to talk through is the eye cream. Now they say it's an eye cream. It's more of an oil. It's got a bit of a, well, it's definitely an oil when it comes out in the bottle. It's a bit harder. I, it's kind of like coconut oil, how it's hard 
sometimes and then at a very quite a low temperature it will turn into an oil um, I, I don't hate it being an oil but you know I probably prefer more of a serum look it's really hard for me to judge I have never I've tried several eye creams or eye balms and I really haven't found one that I think does anything and I kind of feel like this just fits into that category as well however I've also used another 100% pure eye cream and it was a PM one came in a small tube I can't remember what it's called now um, but it did have retinol if that helps uh, that one did nothing so if I was comparing this to that I probably like this one better however I still don't think it's doing enough to justify the price so I've used one whole container full and now I'm on to the second one because I wanted to give it a better chance but I am almost certain that I will not return to this product and buy it again what's what I'm planning to do is once I'm finished this start to use the facial oil for the eye area just to get rid of it and then who knows what I'll do for, for my eyes probably just put the serum on it and then finally the PM treatment which is kind of like a cream I've gone through two of these and I'm not going to repurchase so when I first bought them I bought these two together the serum and the treatment they came a bit cheaper so I thought oh, I'll give them both a go and the PM treatment was a bit weird like the just the consistency of it and everything I didn't love it but I got used to it and so when the second jar came and they'd actually changed the recipe it was just it kind of took a product that I didn't particularly love but it was okay and then sort of made it a bit worse so the consistency I just feel it's quite greasy it reminds me of like an olive oil spread or a margarine that's been left on the counter that's how it feels to me um, the old recipe or the old ingredients it was similar but it wasn't as greasy so for me I'm not going to be using this product uh, or at least I'm not going to buy it again um, as I said I don't really know whether it did anything positive for my skin I noticed definitely the serum did but I haven't really noticed any major changes with this um, sorry that's my dog just popping up to say hello um, but I will say like it, it hasn't done anything bad for my skin it hasn't broken it out or anything like that so I don't think the greasiness was really that big of a problem I just personally didn't like it so on the whole I want to say that I, I do think that they're pretty good quality products I like the fragrance I wish I wish that sweet orange was stronger throughout the whole brand but it's all the whole um, all the products but it's really mainly in the serum and the other other ones are a bit lighter um, they're good quality glass bottles and you know I just quite like the 100% pure brand to be honest like what their ethos and what they stand for um, so I think that definitely for me I would highly highly recommend the serum for those who are looking for something in particular that has a, a retinol it does have a retinol in it um, but also beautiful things like vitamin C um, vitamin E niacinamide all really good antioxidants for your skin if you've got more dry skin or you prefer an oil then I'd suggest go for the facial oil uh, for the cream and the eye cream and the treatment I won't be using them but maybe some other people will get benefit from them